introduction. Well, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. I mean that because there are about um, probably about a hundred stand-up comedy shows at the Edinburgh Fringe that all start about eight o'clock at night, and you ended up here. You came to this one, so give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> I'm not entirely convinced you made the right choice, but you're here. <laughs> Pretty sure right now, within a two mile radius of this venue, there are better comedians telling funnier jokes uh, in front of bigger audiences, but you're here. I'm delighted. I'm, I, for one, commend your poor judgment. <laughs> I've no doubt for quite a few of you this was, wasn't your first preference. Uh, I imagine uh, a number of you went to the box office with a very specific idea in mind of a comedian you wanted to see and said, Can I get tickets to this bloke? And they said, no, he's sold out. Oh, what about her? Can I get tickets for her? No, she sold out too. Well, who can I get tickets for? Andrew Lawrence. <laughs> well, who's he? Stand-up comedian? Has he been on television? Not recently, no. <laughs> Is he any good? It's debatable, really. Uh, well, how many tickets can I get for Andrew Lawrence? As many as you like, mate. Fill your boots. Loads. <laughs> you can have loads. <laughs> Good, yes, thank you for coming. My goodness, thank you for managing to find the money to buy a ticket. Everything's so expensive now, isn't it? Everything costs money. Even if you want to mug someone now, you've got to buy a moped first. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, I only paid two grand for that moped. Now I've got McIntyre's Rolex, so it worked out. <laughs> 